Hi, this is Ask Brock. I'm Brock Yorty. This week's question comes from Scott. Brock, following up on last week's question on well development, how do I tell a drilling engineer that mud is okay? Every time in my career that I have told somebody something has never worked out effectively. You know, we need to collaborate. We need to default to trust and figure out why there's a hesitation of using drilling mud versus the way they would expect us to drill this well. And sure, we have lots of information out there that says why we like running RC or dual tube or, you know, it comes back to last week's answer of the minimal impact possible to the porosity zone is what we're going for. Minimal impact, surgical drilling. So I can start the collaboration by saying my tribal knowledge, we can drill this well this way with direct mud rotary on mud or drilling fluids because I'm going to have a low solid drilling fluid. And furthermore, I'm going to augment that with a pack polymer that's going to get me a filtrate below, you know, 15 milliliters on a filter press in 30 minutes time. And I can collaborate with my drilling fluids people to come out and help me. And I can show that we can have just minimal impact, but we have to show that our tribal knowledge is an engineered solution that we have documented over time. And then once we get there, then we can have bigger discussions. But it is about not having a drilling mud, something that's high solids. It's about having a fluid that we are working that is, you know, working the entire drilling system. And we have to be a better advocate instead of saying you don't understand or I'm telling you this is the way we're doing it. We have to show, we have to educate, we have to pull the curtain back. We have to be the people that say, I'm successful this way. Here's my tribal knowledge on why I want to run and I'm tooled out to do direct mud rotary. Because of course, there are other methods out there and other advocates taking away from that theory of success because they have great success and minimal impact with their drilling methods as well. But it's gotta be what fits your company. And then we have to do the education. We can't say that it's a secret method. You know, we have to say, it's gonna be a low solid drilling fluid. I'm gonna have a filtrate here. I like running a filtrate around 12. Yeah, it costs a little bit more money, but I know that I have a thin, tough filter cake and I can break it up very easily with a development fluid or just with some good agitation. And then we're there and we're back to the well development discussion and, you know, finding out what the expectations of, you know, what our well needs to produce and understanding the damage. Um, I think last week's question answers a lot of this stuff, but if I was to go further into this, we got to collaborate. We, we invested in millions of dollars worth of equipment and our engineers and our scientists invested in a long-term education and books and the science aspect. And we can marry those together. Drilling mud, drilling fluid is science and engineering just the same. And we have those tools and we have the apps. And so they need to trust the same way we need to trust them, we default to trust because I'm betting the two and a half million dollars worth of CapEx equipment I have to do this job. And they're betting on their credentials and the expectations of this well that we can be successful together. And then once we pull that all together, we can do it. Telling each other never works. And it's, uh, I've been on some tough job sites like that. And we have to collaborate. We have to default to trust. And we just got to be a good community and come together and figure out why we're having the discussion we're having and solve it together. And then we move on. It's a great question, Scott. Hey, everybody, be safe out there. Thank you.